des régions euh, dévastées. Il y a... Euh, Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, government officials, fellow delegates, ladies and gentlemen. My being here before you today during this climate vulnerable forum is really an unfortunate thing if you think about it, because it means my country from where I flew halfway across the globe is hideously vulnerable to the elements. My name is Jose Sixto Dates III and I come from an archipelago that knows an average of 22 typhoons a year. On paper, I am a commissioner representing the youth of the Philippines. But in my heart, I feel like I am really just representing my daughter, Maria Letizia, who is seven days and 20 hours old today. And if you are here, and if you here are first-time parents as well, you know that I really shouldn't have left her, nor her mother's side at this time, even for a single minute. Yet, here I am. I am here because when I represent Maria Letizia, I represent the world. You are all also here for yours, your sons and daughters, and for those still without, the children you are about to bear, should fate bestow you with them. You are here for the world, as I am. I am also here because for the last year, many young Filipinos devoted their time launching and speaking of a campaign called Hashtag NowPH. Now, an acronym for Not On Our Watch is a movement that says the young Filipino is in charge of the task to be vigilant for the care of our planet. The hashtag NowPH campaign aims to raise the voices of the Filipino youth on a global level in lieu of the COP21. The movement used online and offline platforms to engage young people across the Philippines. Different initiatives were implemented such as group discussions, training, media promotions, workshops, and roadshows to encourage youth participation. Social media interactions were also put into place to gather and collate expressions of support and commitment from different sectors. This also resulted to the institutionalization of climate action in our country through the Presidential Proclamation 1160, declaring November 25 of each year as a National Day for Youth in Climate Action. There's big science talk behind this. A lot of theories, hypotheses, computations, numbers, units of measurements like 2 degrees or 1.5. But in the heart of it all, it really is just caring for our planet, our common home, regardless of race, creed, color, stature, or capacity. And no one in the world can or must argue with that. Now PH advocates for robust awareness participation, new habit forming, and behavioral changes that will help, no matter how seemingly insignificant, care for the Earth. Now PH is our country's informed voice that goes about the din of all these highly urgent, terribly important, globally relevant conversations swirling around Paris these past few days, and especially in the coming week. I say informed because every Filipino that has survived a typhoon like Haiyan is a climate change expert in one way or another. So please take our word for it, we know. To choose to be involved and to get people involved is certainly the greatest contribution we can make in addressing the common problems we face in our common home. With the reach of 221 million social media impressions and 3.6 million total pledges, please listen to all these voices saying now. So today, on behalf of the Filipino youth, we would like to formally turn over the output of the campaign, proof that we are committed to working together towards climate action with one voice and one call. So, Your Excellencies, Honorable Officials of different governments in the world, we thank you for listening to us. On behalf of my country and all the countries who agree that the planet is our common home, I thank you for listening to us now. You have the Filipino at your side, and we hope to have you fight with us. Because at the end of the day, this is not about us anymore, but about the future of the generations to come, a future that is secured and ensured, no other time and no other way. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay mula sa Pilipinas. At this point, we would like to invite Her Excellency Anik Geraldan 
Secretary of State for Development of France, to receive the output of the campaign to be given by His Excellency Benigno Simeon Aquino III. May we invite our distinguished guests seated along the main speaker's table to gather beside President Aquino, Madame Manique Girardin, and Commissioner Dantes to witness the ceremonial turnover and to join in the photo opportunity. May we request you to push your seats, seats forward, please? Thank you. We now request the same group to remain.